Hello everybody, welcome to the video of this uh, gauge clock from my W126. We're going to repair the day counter and also the normal uh, kilometer counter. So in this clock uh, the normal counter is working but the day counter is broken. So this is a common problem on these clocks also for uh, 201, 124 and this 126 and more models of course but so this is 126 this is an electronic uh, speedo you can see it in the back there is no cable there are just uh, connections in here i thought one of these bottom connections is the speedo connection <coughs> so there's just an uh, it works with uh, with a pulse if there's a pulse on it the counter will do it so normally your speedo is just working and then you hear like a clicking noise or anything else in the back of the clock so we're going to open it and uh, show you how this works. So I also got a package. I ordered this on eBay. It's like three, three different, or uh, three uh, small gears in it. That should do the job. So let's have a look. So small gears in it. I think it was uh, an easy job to show you how it works. So let's open the gouge. <coughs> so that's it. So put this part away. So you can see. If they look for the, these small parts, will be still in place. This is your blinker lights, and there are two other lights. What's it? The other lights? I don't know. But this blinker light, the other one is uh, dashboard light. These ones are dashboard lighting on the side. So the clock. I got all the screws. Uh, four screws, five. So, as you can see inside, I don't know if you can see that, but this small gear, you can see it's broken. So it's completely. Look. This is the small gear. So this will be renewed with this one. So that's the problem. So, I just removed this cover, it's with two screws, on the top and there, on the bottom. They are in here and in there. And this plate you can just remove from between here. So now you could see where the last one was positioned, that small one that just broke off. You can see there's a, an edge where it should be so it's pretty easy to put it on so that's very nice so let's have a look how we can get the other gears off so this one is also removed you can see there's also damage They're like they, yeah, pieces are bro breaking off pretty easily. If you look, it's getting soft or something. 
It's like uh, getting a rubbery or something, I don't know. Yeah, not that hard like the new ones. So, pretty weird. So, this is like the same gear. They were the gears to the inside, so it's mounted like this. So this is a small one. They are going off pretty easy. So let's put the gears back in. So the last one that came off was with the, the biggest gear on the inner side. So as you can see, you got two sizes. But you will see if you put the wrong gear on it, it will not spin. So on the first two gears, the first two gears, they spin freely on the axle. So let's put this one in. This is the top one. So you just slide it on. And it will just be good. That's it. So the second one is below there. So you also put it with the gear to the inner side. Let's have a look. It just don't have a lot of space in here. Yes. And just slide it down. Or do so I put first the other one? So. That's in. So you can see that it's working. So there's a small edge on the other gear. You can see there's a little blue pin that's touching here. So to get them off and make sure there are no small pins in there. So get the gears up again. So, you can see, if you buy them, have a look, have a look, I can see, you can see there's a small plastic piece left there, so I have to get it off. Otherwise, it's stuck again. So, let's put it back. Nice. Okay. Normally you also say they can slide off, but that small gear has a small edge on the set I ordered. So you can see that there is, so it's, it can have a, there's a stop there. So you have to put this to the outside so it will keep the other gears on. So I've got the, the small gear also on it. I got a small problem with it because the, the hole in the gear was not big enough. 
So I drilled it to three and a half millimeters and then uh, put a small drop of glue on the back just to make sure. Put some grease in it and it works pretty good. Look, just taking all the gears. Also, when I touch this one. So this is pretty good. So now I'm going to put the back cover on it and close it fully up. So let's have a go. So pretty nice covers back on. So now to do this you can just shift it a little bit like this to get a plate out of it. Out so you can put it now back and there's just uh, a small piece of rubber on the back. On mine. Just put it back on. That's it. So you can see the gearing in here still. Still works pretty good. Oh good, nice. So, let's put it back in the gouge. That's it. Back in there. Look, they count is getting back to zero. That works. So, that's it. Can go back in the car. Thanks for watching for this video. Have a look in all my other videos in my playlist uh, in the right corner for you. It's my logo. Have a look on my uh, in my playlist and also so this counter. It's going to be used in my project on a 90V12 W201 with the M1 20V12 swap. So, right corner for you, my logo, click on it, go to my main page, subscribe if you like the videos. There will be much more of this. So, thanks for watching. Bye bye.